Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In our last two video, we talk about the new way of function calling in Semantic Kernel. One is auto, second one is recurrent. In this video, I am going to focus on the third and final one function calling is a none. None tells to the A model not to invoke any functions directly, even though it has has access to them. Instead, the model should only analyze the input and figure out how it might use the functions if they were be invoked, but without actually performing the invocation. So, when I can use this none keyword? What is the scenario is needed to use this function calling none? Dry run. Dry run scenario. You have to use this concept. A dry run means testing something without fully executing it. In this case, the A is given functions, but it's instructed not to invoke them. It only suggested which function might be approximate based on the input. So why it's helpful? This can help developers or user see how the A would decided which function to use based on the input. It is a way to check the logic of the A decision making without triggering the actual response. So the main core of using this function calling none to check the model how the decision making happening, how the input passed to your functions. So the A model analyzes till the input. So I'm going to call this function. These functions need this type of inputs. So until this, the A model take the decision. So those type of scenario you can use this function calling none. So let's see one simple example how it's behave. Input: What is the weather like in Chennai? I use a function calling none. So the A model not invoking the weather function immediately. The A model first recognize that Chennai is a city name and might suggest that the weather function would up but without calling it so let's move on to visual studio and we'll see the simple example how to implement the same prompt so in visual studio i have created the third function calling project called none function calling here i used the plugin weather plugin based on the city we get the weather information here and uh, the main program.cs file I created the kernel builder object. The kernel builder object I used GitHub models. I passed my GitHub model ID and endpoint GitHub token. The prompt execution setting I passed to this invoke prompt async function. Finally, I get the result and print it. So here I'm going to add the my function calling behavior. Here I'm going to assign function charge behavior none. And in the none function, you can see the argument also. We talk about lot in this argument. You can pass it the kernel function, or you can just leave it. So the A model take the decision based on the plug available plugin. I just leave this none only here. And the invoke parameter I passed provide history and weather information based on Chennai. Something like that. So seems to be all fine. I put the breakpoint in line number 40 and uh, external weather plugin. I have breakpoint line number 70. Make sure a model not calling this function. So save it. Debug the application. We get the result. And using the function calling none, the function not invoked. Go to the output. Here you can see the first step, the history of Chennai. And the main focus here, the current weather information. Let me fetch the latest weather conditions for Chennai. So our parameter, our function parameter need the city name as an argument. So the A model fetch the correct city name. Chennai based on our input. This is a simple example to test the dry run. 